Okay, it's Robert Eagleson here with the uh, Calgary Hook and Hackle Club, and today we're doing a Adams Attractor. Um, I like this fly because it's a uh, tractor style without a lot of gaudy colors. It's a lot of natural colors in here. Uh, works very well. The big hexagena uh, mayflies are coming off. The burrowing mayfly uh, coming off. So. Um, this is tied on a uh, size 10 Daiichi um, 1270, that's a natural bend hook. Um, for the tail I'm using a little puff of uh, CDC. For the uh, uh, abdomen here I'm using moose mane in a white and black. Uh, for the upper uh, abdomen lower thorax here I've got a ball of spun deer hair under wing I've got a CDC feather and then the wing is uh, deer hair and then the thorax uh, is uh, dark tan super fine dubbing and then grizzly hackle okay so we'll just get started here I will take my hook and I will insert my hook into my vise and I have here some uh, 6 aught black thread. I'm using 6 aught just because of spinning deer hair and uh, there's nothing worse than getting uh, halfway through and uh, the thread breaks while you're spinning deer hair. So, um, Okay, for the tail I'm going to find uh, uh, CDC um, feather. So uh, what I'm using here is um, uh, this is a um, CDC and a natural tan. So I'll just find a CDC feather there and I will just tie that in with a couple fairly loose wraps and then I will just pull that until I get a little bit of a puff there at the end. So just about like that. And uh, moose mane. If you're familiar with moose mane, you know that there are white and dark hairs mixed in uh, with a moose mane. So I select one dark and one light moose mane and I will just put those two together if I can I will I keep dropping the white one so I'll kind of match those up there I got one dark and one white so I'm just going to clip those off and then I'm going to tie them in by the tips Get right back to my tail and then I'm going to just try to make a smooth thorax coming up just unwind my thread make a nice smooth thorax coming up to about mid shank so right about in right about in there I'll unwind my thread again and I'll just try to make that somewhat smooth coming up this makes it easier to wrap that moose mane if you got a nice smooth underbody all right so let's give that a half hitch there and then we'll just get my thread out of the way grab my uh, moose mane and we'll just wrap those together right up to mid shank coming apart a bit there black one's turning a little bit Gray, that's all right. All right. So 
we'll just tie those off and we're roughly mid shank maybe a little forward all right so now because these moose mane can be a little bit fragile and I don't want a fish tooth ruining this fly after just one fish so uh, I'm going to take some uh, solar res uh, this is a bone dry it's called it's a uh, very very liquid flow type UV resin and I'm just going to coat that with that UV resin and that's going to make it pretty much bulletproof. I'll grab my UV torch and I'll just touch that up. And what I really like about this solar is, is that it dries um, not tacky. It's nice, nice and dry when, it, uh, when it's done. Okay, so I need my uh, little deer hair ball there now. So I'm just going to find some deer. Um, and I'm just going to pull a chunk, select a bit off the, off the hide here. Okay, so I got a fairly decent sized bunch of deer here. I am going to find my uh, a little comb here and I'll try to comb all of the fuzzies out of there. Okay, once I've got that then I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to even up those butts and then I'm going to spin it around and I'm going to clip all those off. So I've just got a uh, bunch of the middle of the hairs here so I'm going to place it down right up on top of I want it one loose wrap two loose wraps and then I'm going to let go and I'm going to spin like two or three times right through the middle of that so I got a good sized ball there move my thread up to the front and I'm going to give it a couple three wraps right at the front okay push that back a bit all right now I need to uh, Find my scissors and I need to make a ball here if I can. So if you've ever clipped deer hair, the tough part there is kind of knowing when to quit. Alright, so I'm just using my scissors on an angle there to kind of angle towards the middle and I'm just trying to make a little deer hair ball and like I say knowing when to quit is more of an art than a science so in the interest of time, I think we'll stop right there. Okay, so I've got my deer hair ball. I'm going to find a, uh, another CDC feather. And this is going to be my underwing. It's got a little bit of a kink off to the side, but that's alright. So I want that feather to be about, um, come to about the, the bend here. So we're just going to tie that in like that. Yeah, I don't really like that kink in the back there. Let's try it like this, maybe. Put that kink to the bottom. Yeah, I think I like that better. All right. So we'll give that a couple snug wraps and then uh, clip it off. And then we'll find some deer hair. Again, another bunch of deer hair. Well, roughly uh, same size as the, uh, as the last clump of deer hair. 
And again, we'll just pull out all the fuzzies. But this one, I want to stack. <coughs> so, excuse me, I'll put my uh, hair in a stacker. And then we'll just give it a few pounds, try to even up all the uh, tips. And once I get it out of the stacker, I'll just take a look at it because um, this deer hair I'm using isn't that great, and there are a lot of broken tips in there. So you can just use your, you can usually pull all those broken ones out just by uh, using your fingernails. There's one more over there. Oops. All right. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, a couple more here. All right. So I want the deer hair to be about the same length as that CDC underwing. So I'm just going to kind of measure there. And then, whoops. I'm going to measure there and then use my scissors to clip it off. So, how do we do that? It doesn't look too bad. Alright, so we'll just cinch those down pretty good. <coughs> Alright, now I need my uh, hackle. So I've got a grizzly uh, saddle hackle here, and I'm just going to tie that in, and then I will just clip the butt, and I'll make sure that's tied in right back. And now I need some dark tan super fine dubbing, and I really quite like super fine dubbing. It's uh, Got a floating built into it, and it's uh, easy to use. So, I'll just try to make a thinner noodle here, and I'm going to wrap back just to kind of help hold the wing back. A little more dubbing out to the front. Maybe just a touch more. Alright, that looks pretty good. So, I'll find my hackle, and I'm just going to wrap a few even two, three wraps out to the front. Try to hold those back. Find my whip finisher. And there we have it a uh, Adams attractor. So, uh, again, if you're looking for a big fly that, uh, that fish are going to notice, um, certainly they're going to notice this just because it's a size 10 and it's big and stands out, but it doesn't have all of the gaudy colors that you might find in a stimulator or, uh, you know, a lot of natural colors here. And that's what I really like about it. Uh, good floatability with the CDC, the deer hair ball, and deer hair wing. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'd recommend you give this one a shot. Thanks.